I see it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to your yin fusion class. Tonight, you're going to need a yoga mat, you're going to need a block or a book, you're going to need a strap or a scarf, a blanket or a towel, and a bolster or two pillows or two couch pillows, whatever you have around. I'm going to click on me. So my name is Hannah. I know we have a few new bees tonight. Um, yin fusion is a little bit of Hatha yoga, which is flow. It is the sun. It is the warm. It's what most yogis, when you think of yoga, most of us are doing. So it's sweating, moving quickly. Alignment is really important. And then you have yin yoga. Yin yoga is slow. It's the moon, it's the cold, it's the shadow, and it's the dark. So it's the black, and then you have the white, the sun. So it's that yin and yang, and we need both the yang, the heat, the fun, the quick, and we need the, the yin. The fusion of both is what brings your body balance. So that's why I love teaching this class. The basics of yin is that you're going to, once we do a yin pose, and I'll tell you when it's a yin pose, I'll say this is a yin pose. Once you're in a pose, you're going to um, find your soft edge. So you're going to find not your deepest edge, but a soft edge, somewhere where you can hold for a little while. And then you're going to be still there. You're going to find your breath and you're going to find stillness in the pose. And then we hold it. So it's that soft edge, find your stillness and your breath, and then you spend time there. And what that does is that it helps it, our ligaments and muscles and tissues and fascia stretch. So then when we slowly release this area, our body knows to recharge, to replenish, to uh, help this place in our body to stay mobile and healthy throughout our lives. So I'll be talking about your soft edge tonight. I'll be talking about being still there. And the most important thing is that you know your body. If it doesn't feel good, you're going to come out and nice and slow. Come out nice and slow and change it up. You don't want to feel numbness, pain, or tingling. These are signs of your body that it's not working. You need to change the shape. And we say shape because you get attached to a pose. It's just how it goes. So change the shape if those things are happening for you. So we're going to come to seated and you're on your pillow and you're going to cross your legs in a comfortable way. If this isn't comfortable, come to seated in a way that's comfortable. You're going to open your palms on the thighs or close the palms down, whatever you feel you need right now. Grounding for palms down, expansion and opening for palms open. Shoulders back, Slowly bring your core, your belly button towards your spine and reach the crown up tall. Focus on breathing around the heart. Inhale through the nose and fill up the heart. Exhale through the mouth. Three more like that. Inhale through the nose. Filling up your heart. Exhaling. Two more, inhale through the nose, fill up the heart as full as you can. Exhaling out. And last time, inhaling in. Breathe in some kindness to your heart center. Exhale out through the mouth. Soften the face, soften the eyes. And then slowly with the palms, if they're down, you're gonna open your palms out and let the hands float up with an inhale. Palms touch above you, exhale, find heart center. Inhale, come up and out of your heart. Trace up your midline, exhaling out. Palms turn up to the ceiling, inhale, reach up. Palms touch, exhale, trace down the midline, heart center. <sighs> Inhale, trace up your midline. Exhaling out. <sighs> Try to release your day, release the news, release your work, release what's going on in your life. Release the overwhelm, exhale, heart center. Inhale, trace up your midline. 
Exhale out. Bring your hands back onto the thighs, shoulders back, belly button in, reaching tall. Inhale here and exhale. See if you can grow a little bit taller as you slowly stick your chin out, just your chin. Bring your chin out and then let it drop down towards your chest. Inhale and try to bring your chest up towards the chin. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, try to bring the chest up towards the chin. Exhale through the mouth. And last time, inhale through the nose. Chest moves up, exhale through the mouth. And then bring chin down towards the chest. Inhale and exhale, bring your right ear to roll to the right shoulder. You're gonna take your right hand and float it up. Exhale, bring your hand to your, your forehead, somewhere on your head, try not to pull. It's the natural weight of your hand on your head. Maybe some of you, the fingertips are grazing your ear. Breathe into the side of your neck, inhaling in. Big breath out through the mouth. So breathe through the nose, inhale, and then exhale through the mouth. Try to soften in the face. Inhale, breathe into the whole side of your neck. Exhale out through the mouth. Inhale to bring your hand up if you placed it up. Exhale, release the hand down and you're gonna let your chin slowly roll back down and just kind of sway your head like a heavy bowling ball. So we have a brain surgeon on this class and she told me that your head weighs about 11 or 12 pounds. If you imagine that, that's an 11 or 12 pound bowling ball that's supported by your neck all day and why our necks are giving us issues right now, right? Also stress holds a lot of the time in the neck and shoulders. So you're stressed and your big bowling ball head is just giving that neck a little round. So let it sway nice and slow and then take an inhale and bring your left ear slowly towards your left shoulder. Drop the shoulders away from your ears. Take a big breath into the side of your right neck. Through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Soften the jaw, soften the face. Two more, in and out. Let's bring our hand up to join it. Inhale, lift your arm up if you did it on the other side. Let your hand gently rest, exhaling through the mouth. Inhale, in. Some of you don't need your hand up there. Exhale out. Just see where it's at. You're not pulling. Inhale in. Filling up the side of your head, your neck. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale to lift your hand up if you brought it up. Place it down with an exhale. And again, chin down to your chest. Slowly sway that head nice and slow. And then bringing your head to a stop, your fingertips to your forehead, lift your head up. And then roll your hands down to shoulders and roll them forward. Roll them back. And forward again. Release the shoulders, big circle. You're giving someone a big virtual hug. Hugging you all and then back behind you as if you're trying to bring your elbows together. See how that feels for your chest and then release it. Good. Grab your strap and you're going to stretch it out. So I'm going to get rid of my mouse and stretch out that strap. Now, again, you don't need a strap. You can use a scarf like me, but you want to have straight wrists. That's it. Keep your wrist straight and strong. You don't want any kind of kinking going on. Straight and strong and bring your head, hand up, both hands up. You've got this nice taut strap or scarf, Race, wrists are straight. Inhale in, reach up tall, belly button in towards your spine. Exhale, let your, your hands come behind you. Now find a soft edge, not your deepest edge. Inhaling in, soften the jaw, even smile. And then inhale, coming up. Exhale, release in front of you. This is for you, Angie. 
Inhaling up, she said chest opener, exhale coming up above your head. Reach up, straight wrist, inhale, exhale, come behind and find your soft edge. Really find the softness, try not to come too deep. If you need more, you're gonna shorten the stance of your wrist, but keep your wrist straight. If you need less, widen it. Inhale in. And then maybe some of you are coming to a little bit of letting go of that soft edge and coming a little bit deeper. But again, maybe coming a little bit more behind you. Again, keep yourself soft, face soft, jaw soft, belly button in towards the spine. Inhale, come up. Exhale, let it go. Good work. Get rid of your strap. We're going to come off our pillow, our bolster, that height. Push it back. Put your strap back. And then you're going to sit, switch the cross of your legs. So it's important to switch it up every once in a while. And we're going to come to slide back and forth over the sit bones. So sitting tall, start to open up the arms, the, the heart, the chest, and lift up. Look up. Exhale, round it back. Pull the core in towards the spine, back of wrist touch in front of you. Bring the chin to your chest. Inhale, roll over the sit bones, open through the heart. Exhale, rounding it back. Back of wrist touch. Inhale, coming up, open. Exhale, round it back. So we just had a full moon. And again, the moon is so beautiful tonight. So we're going to do a little bit of stuff for the moon and stars tonight. Some of our poses. Exhale, round it back. Inhale, open the heart up. Imagine the night sky right now, opening up to the moon, the stars. Exhale, round it back. Trusting in the universe, trusting, sending out, you know, that intention, what you need more of your life. See how that shows up. Last time, open up. Big breath in, exhale, round it out. And then slowly coming up here. Bring your hands on your knees, lift up through the heart, and you're just gonna do some little hip circles. Now, some of you are gonna come more forward towards your chest towards the knee, a rounding back, really making this dramatic. Some of you are just gonna stay up high. You want this to feel okay in your hips, but you're leading towards the right, forward and back. These are Kundalini moves. So just noticing how that feels. Some of you, again, you're gonna really come forward and you're gonna really round back. You're just listening to how your body wants to move, how it feels good in the knees and the hips, being gentle. And then you're going to switch that direction. Just noticing how that feels. And then you're doing your circles, either small or big. Maybe some of you are really being nice and like dramatic. Or some of you are just out nice and high doing these smaller circles. This is stirring up the kundalini energy at the base of the spine. Tapping into that energy deep within all of us. And then slowly coming to a stop. From here, float your arms up. And then you're going to come over to the right. Plant your hand down and reach over. Inhale, open right away. Open up the heart and the chest, looking up to the ceiling. Looking up, inhale in, exhale, reach around a big imaginary moon. So a big full moon, reach around the moon, gaze under your right armpit. Inhale, open up, rib cage spins to the ceiling. Look up, exhale, reach around that big imaginary full moon. Look under your armpit. Last time, inhale up, open up, look up, exhale, wrapping around that imaginary moon. And then slowly coming back to center, I want you just to reach around. So reaching for a side bend, and then you're going to crawl towards the front and tiptoe your, your fingers like you're like a little insect crawling over and then come to the other side. So left hand plants down, reach over with your right, back off a little bit, find your sit bones grounded, and then you're going to spin your rib cage, look up to the ceiling, open the heart. Big breath in, exhale, reach around a big imaginary full moon, look under your left armpit. Inhale to open, spin, open the heart. 
Exhale, reaching big around a big imaginary full moon Look under the armpit. Inhale to open, look up. Rib cage spins up, exhale, reach around. Perfect, and then coming back to center, find a side bend, gentle side bend, reaching over, and then you're gonna bring that hand down to the ground, and again, crawl your fingers like a little ant or something, crawling over to the other side and slowly come up. We're gonna move our way, transition to all fours. So spinning around, take your time to get there. Bring your hands so they're right below the shoulders, knees right below the hips. We're gonna take our block or our Harry Potter book and place it at the top of the mat. So Harry Potter's a nice thick book, which is really nice to use as a block or a prop. If you don't have a yoga prop. I like these foam blocks instead of a wood block because they're just a little bit more softer. Hands below shoulders, knees below the hips, curl the toes under. You're gonna inhale, drop your belly, curl your tailbone, spread your sit bones apart, look forward into cow pose. Exhale, you're gonna curl the toes and lift up into downward dog. So lift your hips up, drop the head, look down at your feet, feet are hip width apart, and you're gonna bend one knee at a time to walk your dog. This is downward facing dog. And then pause here, look up at your hands, make sure the index fingers are parallel. Fingers are spread, now push into your knuckles and let your head go. Let your, it's almost as if your biceps are wrapping towards the center and you hollow up the armpits to reach your chest towards your feet. Now again, walk your dog, breathe, find your breath, and then come back down. Hands below shoulders, knees below the hips, curl the toes under, inhale, drop your belly, curl your tailbone, looking forward into cow pose, if that's okay for your neck. This time we're going to exhale into cat, so curl your tailbone in, push into the mat, chin to chest, really lift up, find that height, inhaling, drop your belly, curl your tailbone, looking through. Now some of you are, are um, exhale rounding, or um, what is it called? When you can do like cool, crazy stuff with hyper extending, that's what it's called. When you're like weird stuff with your elbows. So if that's you, I want you to bend slightly in the elbows. So sometimes you can do weird, crazy stuff with your elbows, the eye of your elbow. I want the eye of the elbows to face each other and maybe even a slight bend for you super bendy people. Exhale rounding. So that's something I can't see when you're at home. You're gonna focus on the eye of your elbows facing each other. Belly drops, curl your tailbone, find your own rhythm here. Now I want you to not think about how this looks. If an outsider saw you, I don't want you to think how this would look to them. I want you to just feel it in your body. Full breath in, full breath out. One more time. And exhale, release. Come to a neutral spine, curl the toes under, and I want you to sit back on the feet for a second. So if this is getting too much for the feet, some of us have really sensitive arches or plantar fasciitis stuff going on. By the way, this can really help that. You can just come forward and take a break and then come sit back. So today we're gonna do a little bit of breath of fire and breath of fire is breathing with your abdomen. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it, that color's better. So I want you to practice here in this toe squat. So open your mouth and pant like a dog. Now I want you to do the same breath with your mouth closed. Let that go. And just notice if your breath is coming in and out, the abdomen. So we want, when we exhale, it's almost like an automatic inhale, like, a, like an accordion. So we're gonna do that later on today, breath of fire. Slowly come forward. Good work, by the way, that was a long toe squat. Hands below shoulders, curl the toes under, downward dog when you're ready. Look at your feet, pedal out the legs. Now, if you're like, that was the weirdest breath I've done, felt really weird, it's okay as long as you didn't get too dizzy. And if you did, you just stop 
the breathing of Breath of Fire. It's really good for that core that we're working on strengthening and our power center. Coming back down from downward dog when you're ready from all fours, bring your hands back right below the shoulders and then you're gonna take your right hand and you're gonna open up to the side. So open up to the right, look up and then you're exhaling, thread the needle. So that hand hovers and you're looking through. Inhale, open up, look up if it's okay for your neck. Again, you're making modifications for your body. Exhale, hovering that hand through. Two more, inhale, open up. Exhale, thread the needle. And last time, open up, thread the needle. So this time you're gonna come through and come on the side of your head. Now, if that's too far, grab your trusty block or your Harry Potter book and rest the side of your right head. So you're right somewhere on your head, and oh, that's okay. Now some of you are gonna take your left hand and float it up and place it on your sacrum, or even reach behind you and grab the top of your right thigh. But we're not, again, this is a yin pose now. You're gonna spend a little time here. So don't be, you find a soft edge. We're breathing in the back body, we're softening the face. I like to keep my hand forward. Again, you play with where the ground is meeting you. Bum is lifted, breathing in the back body. You can be on the top of the feet. The feet can be curled. You're softening the face and breathing here. Spending time being still. If it doesn't feel good, you can come out. Meeting your body where it's at today, this first of December being. There's no other place to be but in your body right now. Soften the face and the throat. Three breaths in. Exhale through the mouth. In through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Last time in and out. Slowly coming up with your hand, hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips. Inhale, curl the toes under. Look forward into cow pose if it's okay for your neck. Exhale, come back to downward dog. Pedal, pedal, pedal your legs. And then when you're ready, come back down to all fours and we'll do the left side. So hands below shoulders, open up to the left. Inhale in. Coming through. Inhaling in. Exhaling out. Inhaling in. I'm just going to check if my speaker is okay. Exhaling through. Last time, I think everything's okay. Yeah, everything looks fine. Inhaling in and exhaling through. Slowly come to the side of your left head. Now you're coming through, you're holding on this side now. Again, your, this left side might be different than your right. So you might need that block or that book to help the floor come up to your head. Some of you might just think, oh no, that feels perfectly fine where I'm at, bum is lifted again, face is relaxed, belly is soft, and just breathe in your whole back body. Some of you are gonna float your right arm up and place it on your sacrum or reach around to the top of your thigh. We're really just finding where that is today, that soft edge, decide where you wanna be and then hang out there, that's it. Looks great, Angie, nice work. Nice, Danielle, nice, Candice. Breathe there. And find your stillness, find that, that soft edge and spend time there. Find your breath, imagine breathing in the whole back body. Face softens, jaw softens, eyes soften. Breathe into the shoulders, the back body. One more inhale. 
Exhale through the mouth. If your arm was up around you, you're gonna slowly float the right arm up with an inhale, exhale, place it down to the ground. And with everyone, inhale, slowly making your way up into all fours. Take your time to come to all fours. Knees below the hips again. Curl the toes under, inhale, curling up, look up into cow pose, exhale, downward dog. That's it, pedal your legs. And then from here, by the way, skip any of these core things if they're not working for you. You're gonna float your right leg up. Bend your right knee, take an inhale, exhale, pull that right knee up to the nose. Inhale again, right leg extends. Exhale, right knee to the nose. Last time, inhale, right leg extends up, knee to nose. Okay, this time we're gonna go lift up and then slowly step forward with your right leg and bring your left knee down. Now that can also look like this, coming to your knees first and then lifting that back leg forward. Nice work there. From here, you're gonna slowly roll up, coming up into a lunge. Now we're not dumping in that back hip, we're staying nice and tall, grounding that right knee right over your ankle. Now zip her up as if you had a drawstring. Zip her up, belly button towards the spine, shoulders back, come to the top of your thigh. Now some of you, this is too much. We're gonna grab our block and stay down lower or even coming down to the ground on your fingertips on your block. So coming up here, if that's okay for you, shoulders back, reaching nice and tall. And then if you can, keep your hands there or float them up, reaching up. Remember, we're doing this moon class tonight. So here's our crescent lunge. Bring the belly button in and reach up. Inhale here, exhale, big circle back. Inhale up, big circle back. Inhale up, big circle back. Inhale up again. And then exhale, bring your hands together to the heart center. Inhale, trace them up. Reach up and then bring your hands behind your head. Elbows point up to the ceiling, get under the arms. And if you can, the head falls back into the forearms. Looking up, reach up with the heart to the full moon shining. Looking forward if that's where you're at with the head and you're not letting the head come back. Take one more inhale, exhale, slowly drop chin down, look forward, float the arms up. Inhale here, exhale, you're gonna bring your left hand below your shoulder, curl your back toes under and lift your back knee up. Bring your belly button towards the spine, inhale, exhale, twist inwards, right thigh meets your belly and reach up. Reach up, reach up to what you need this year. Balance, reach up to it, inhale, exhale, pull it down to the heart. Inhale, reach up, abundance, pull it down to the heart. Inhale, reach up, courage, we all need courage right now, pull it down and then bring that right hand down, drop your back knee and bring your hands to the inside of the right foot. Now this is lizard pose. It might be a little too deep for you right now. That's the case. Grab your block, come up higher, or walk back a little bit and slide your foot back so you're not in such a deep angle here. Hands on the inside of the thighs or up higher. Take a nice breath. Exhale through the mouth. And now let your foot on the right, you're gonna come to winged dragon for a moment. Come to the outside of the right foot lift the inner arch. Now some of you again, you're up higher, or you're on a block, drop your head, breathe in and out. In and out, in and out. Back knee is still supported by your blanket. Inhale in, exhale, drop that hand down or that foot down and slowly tiptoe your fingers back, slide your back heel and then bring your back leg back again. Good job. 
hands below shoulders, knees below hips. Those transitions are nice and slow, as slow as you can. Curl the toes under, knees below hips. Inhale, look forward into your cow pose. Exhale, downward dog. Paddle your legs out. Take your time here and then pause and downward dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Again, ignore me if this is too much. We're not lifting and stacking hips. We're just lifting up, look forward, exhale, knee to nose. Bring it up towards your nose. Inhale, extend, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend, knee to nose. Left leg up, look forward, take a big step forward, back knee down and roll up into that crescent lunge. And we're not dumping in the hip, we're, we're staying up nice and tall. We're zippering in, zippering up our drawstring, staying up high, knee above your ankle, shoulders back. And some of you are gonna have your hands up on the thighs, some of you are gonna be lower, and some of you are gonna lift your arms up into full crescent lunge, reach up. Folding, holding a star between your hands, your hands are active, they're not, they're active, reaching up, reach up with the crown, now pull the belly button in, it likes to relax. Keep the core solid. Inhale here, exhale, you're gonna roll it forward. For one, inhale up. Exhale, roll forward for two. Inhale up. Exhale, roll forward for three. Up. Last time, roll forward. Float the arms up, both arms up. And then exhale, come to heart center with your palms. Inhale, trace up the midline. And then exhale, hands behind your head, elbows point up. You can stay here looking forward, gaze is solid or let your head come back supported by the forearms, lifting up with the heart, gaze up. Again, that string, that imaginary string is pulling up through the heart center up towards the universe. I'd like you all, if you can tonight, to go outside to look at the night sky tonight. It's absolutely amazing, clear and beautiful. One more inhale. Exhale, if your head's back, looking forward, let the arms float up and then bring that right hand below your shoulder. Belly button in towards the spine, inhale in. Exhale, curl the toes, lift your back knee and then twist inwards, belly button. That's it, nice Angie, beautiful, reach up. Everything stacked here, shoulders above wrists, reach up, look up, that crown is reaching forward. Your heel is gently reaching back, inhale. Exhale, drop the knee, good. We're gonna reach up again, energetically pull and courage to the heart, down, and then bring your hands on the inside of that foot. Now this might be too much of a back stretch, way too much. Again, back off at it if it is. Back off with that foot, bring it more like, more like a, that back hip is more above your knee instead of more forward. You can be higher on a block. You can even be still up here. You don't need to come down into blizzard. Drop the head and breathe. Soften the jaw, soften the face. Big breath in and out. So your front knee is right over your ankle. Your head is relaxing. Inhale here, exhale out. You're gonna walk your foot on the left a little bit wider and then come to the outside of that left foot, lifting the inner left arch. So this is a winged dragon. Like a nice puff friendly dragon, you are a friendly dragon letting steam come out of your mouth. Inhaling in that dragon breath. The steam out of your mouth is that anger and frustration at the situation we're in right now. Not being able to see your loved ones, not being able to fly and do your Mexico trips or whatever. <laughs> You're gonna let that heat come out of your mouth. And the fire. <sighs> Inhale, lift that, that knee back up, plant the sole of your foot back down, rolling back. You're gonna crawl back with your fingertips, slide that heel back nice and slow hands below the shoulders, and then come down to your forearms. 
elbows wide, stack your hands, or some of you might want to lift your hands up and cup your forehead. I like stacking and resting my hands down. My knees are below the hips and you're just doing a little gentle rest here. Just take a moment, bums lifted, relaxing your face, relaxing completely here. Now we're getting ready for a Kundalini pose. And some of you are gonna be like, Hannah, this is the worst. I want you to just be open-minded to this. Remember the breath of fire, okay? If it's too much, come back to the knees and just skip this all together. From here, you're gonna take your hands together and you're gonna bring your thumbs together to the third eye and come into plank pose. Now again, come to your knees if plank's not working today. Now you're gonna take your right foot and hook it behind the top of your left foot. So take the right foot, hook it on the top of the left foot and now you're gonna pump breath of fire, go. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Bring that foot down, knees wide, child's pose. Sit your bum back, big toes touch, reach your arms forward, rest your forehead down, or you're gonna tug that blanket forward and just stack your fists below your forehead. I'm gonna do this version so I can keep talking and you're not obscure with the mic. You're gonna do your child's pose. Let that go. Let it go. So your power center is the third chakra. While you're breathing here in child's pose, I'll just tell you about it. So often here in child's pose, this is a yin hold. So you don't want to feel any numbness or tingling. You're finding your soft edge. Your third chakra is located between the belly button and the rib cage. And it's our power center. It's that gut feeling. And when our power center is strong, we make bold actions in our lives for ourselves. We are daring, we are courageous. We make those steps. We speak up for ourselves. We make those changes in our lives that need to be made. We wanna wake up the thir that third chakra, the power center. Some people, it's, explain it like a gut feeling. They just feel it there. That's your power. So that's your, that yellow, it's the color yellow. That core, that's why the core is so important. Big breath in, exhaling out. Slowly roll up, sit back on the feet. And then we're gonna take our time to get rid of your blanket. You guys ready for the other side? Woo! Slowly come forward again. Don't think about it too much. Lift your bum, elbows out to the sides, bring your palms together and the thumbs come to the third eye. So that's right between your eyebrows. That's also a center of intuition. You're gonna come into plank. Now, some of you are just gonna stay in plank, that's enough. Now, some of you are gonna take your left foot and hook it over the right reach your right, however your heels work right now, you can reach them back. Some people just are staying here, whatever works. You're gonna do your breath of fire, go. Come to the knees if it's too much. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Knees wide, big toes touch, child's pose again. Good work. Reach your arms forward. Forehead down. Let that go. So 
So that's Kundalini Yoga. Again, we're waking that, tapping into that energetic center because of us feeling so exhausted. We need to sleep better. We need full restful sleeps. Take an inhale in, exhale out through the mouth, let it go. Think of the anxiety and stress you have in your body. Big breath in. Let that go with the mouth. Looking forward, you're going to come slide onto your belly. Come forward and bring the hands beside the heart. Elbows in, tops of feet into your mat. Inhale, push into the mat. Elbows in, lift your kneecaps up and come into a baby cobra. Exhale, let it go. Hands beside the heart, elbows in again, and you're gonna push yourself up to come into more of a, a it's just like a little plank here. Come into downward dog when you're ready. And then from downward facing dog, push into your knuckles, let the head go and broaden the shoulders. Then both knees look forward and tiptoe to the front of your mat. Come into a forward fold, feet together. Let the chest and thighs come together. And if your hamstrings are tight, bend the knees as much as you need to. A lot of yoga teachers say, never let your students do that. But I wasn't taught like that. We are gonna bend the knees if you need to, if your hamstrings are really tight. Grab the opposite elbows, let your head go and soften. Give your body time to open. Release the arms. Bring your big toes to touch, heels to touch, and sit back into chair pose. Good. Hands to heart center. And you're going to take your right elbow, hook it around your left knee, and bring hands to heart center. Sink low. This is advanced, guys. You need a break. Take it. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to center and rise up. Reach your arms up. Interlace the fingers and push up. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands, swan dive down, forward fold. Big toes are together, heels are together if they moved. Good, hands come to the shins, flat back. Coming up, look down at the ground, reach your crown forward. Exhale, hands, heart center, sit back into a chair and take your left elbow, hook it around your right and bring your hands to heart center, twisting to the side. Now, what your left knee does is pops forward. Try to bring it back in space. The left knee moving back in space. Sink low, breathe. Inhale, come to heart center. Exhale, rise up. Inhale, interlace, reach up. Pause here. Remember, we give our bodies time to sink in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let it go. All right, wrists from here. Find your mountain pose. If some of you are still dizzy, you need to just stay here for a minute longer, letting the blood rush down to your head. So find your mountain pose. We're talking about mountains today, how healing they are. Belly button towards the spine. Shrug your shoulders up and back. Open the palms up. That's it. And then slowly float your right arm up. Inhale, exhale, bring your right fingers up. And then slowly let your left ear come away. So your sorry, left ear to the left shoulder. And then slowly start to bring your right arm down until you find a place where you're feeling a stretch. Fingers up, inhale here. Exhale, you're gonna bring your fingers down. Inhale, fingers up. Exhale, fingers down. See how we're all connected? Inhale, fingers up. Soften the neck. Exhale, fingers down. Last time, inhale, fingers up. Exhale, fingers down. Inhale, exhale, drop the hand down to your side and slowly bring your chin to your chest. And then your fingertips come to your head and lift your head up. Good. Hands down, mountain pose, feet hip width apart, shoulders back, belly button in. Inhale, 
Exhale, slowly bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Float that left arm up. Inhale, exhale, fingers up. Find your edge. Inhale here. Exhale, fingers down. So some of you might be a little higher. Find where it works. Inhale, fingers up. Exhale, fingers down. You might play with being a little lower too. Inhale, fingers up. Exhale, fingers down. Or you might play with coming up starting high and lowering lower. Inhale, fingers up, exhale, fingers down. Last time, inhale, fingers up, exhale, fingers down, and then slowly let your hand come down. Inhale here, exhale, chin to chest. Bring your tips to your forehead, inhale, lift your head up, and then release that. Shrug shoulders up and back, open the palms, belly button in, feet hip width apart. Inhale, float the arms up, palms touch, exhale, swan dive down, lead forward and hinge from the hips, your forward fold. Hands come to the shins, inhale for a flat back, exhale, step back into plank, lower to your knees and lower down with control, elbows in. Hands beside the heart, elbows in, tops of feet into your mat. Inhale, lift your kneecaps, looking up into a baby cobra. Exhale, release down. Curl the toes under, downward dog when you're ready. Pedal, pedal, pull your legs out. And then slowly bend the knees, look forward, tiptoe to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Let the hamstrings release, let the head go. Big toes touch, ankles touch, sit back into chair, arms float up, inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. This is your last sun salutation. Inhale, float the arms up. Swan dive down, forward fold. Hands to the shins, flat back, look down to the ground. Exhale, hands down, plant them, step back into plank. Last time, your kundalini pose, strong pose. Come to the knees if it's too much. Left hand first, left hand to the right shoulder. Har, you're going to say har as you drop it. Hari, other side. Har, hari. Har, hari. Har, hari. Har, hari. Right hand, left shoulder. Har, hari. Left hand, left, right shoulder. Har, hari. Har, hari. Har, hari. Drop it. The knees come down and you're gonna slowly lower to the ground. And then take your time, hands beside the heart, elbows in, push into the tops of the feet, baby cobra. Exhale, let it go. Take your time to push up into a short child's pose, big toes touch, knees wide, resting back. Let your head go. And then we're gonna come into a longer held back pose. You're gonna slowly again, slide onto your tummies like we did before. Take your time to come back and then slide your forearms forward, elbows below the shoulders, forearms down, palms down into Sphinx pose. Let the tops of your feet come into the mat. Some of you, it is too much for your head. You get headaches. You need to look down, that's okay. Thyroid issues, it's good to get your head up. Again, those elbows are right, they're not too forward. They're right directly below your shoulders, palms down, face is soft. Some of you will need more of an edge and you need to bend the knees. But again, I encourage you find your soft edge. Find your soft edge and be still, hang out there. Find your breath. Take your time to just find your breath. The heart is beating a lot from all that Hatha yoga stuff. Now we're in the slow yin.
Let the face go. Three breaths here. Inhale in. Exhale out. In. Out. Lift through the heart. In. Exhale, slowly elbows out to the side. Stack your hands like pancakes. Rest your forehead down and just swivel the hips. Gentlemen, you're going to be gentle as you swivel the hips. Head is relaxed. And then slowly, we're going to bring our hands beside the chest, lifting up. Take your time to slowly bring the knees wide again, big toes touch. But this time, I want you to sit back and find a pillow for your bum for a longer hold. Or some of you, for a longer child's pose, you're going to bring your forehead onto a pillow. I like to also have maybe my folded blanket behind the back of my knees or sitting on my, instead of sitting on my heels, I have that blanket there just so it's like a teeny tiny bit of support. Forehead on your pillow or your blanket, just resting here and just a little bit of a child's pose. You're, you did a lot for the low back and the core tonight. So we're going back and forth between Strengthening the core and relaxing the back body. Strengthening the core, relaxing the back body. It's a lot of squeeze and soak, we call it in yin. You squeeze an area and then you release it. This is a soak pose on the back body, but you're squeezing on the inner body, you're squeezing your inner organs. The ankles are getting work, the feet are getting work, the knees, relax the face, let go of the day. I want you to take the three biggest breaths you've taken today and let go of any anxiety hanging out in the body, the body remembers. It might not be yours, it might be someone else's stress they passed you, but you're gonna release it. Inhale in, as full as you can, exhale out through the mouth, towards the earth. Two more breaths like that, inhale in, exhale out. Last time in, as full as you can. Try to get a little bit more air in and then let it all go <sighs> through the mouth, empty out the body. Soften your face and jaw and throat. And then when you're ready, slowly, slowly crawl out. Nice work, everyone. Come on to one side of your heels and just release this pose. We're gonna extend the legs straight out in front of us. Good work. And then you're gonna take your blanket. We're gonna use it later on, place it to the side. Grab your strap, have it on your right side of your body. Scoot down your mat. And then you're gonna roll back. If you're getting a little chilly, cause we're gonna do yin poses now you can put your socks on in a layer. Keep that heat in that you created in your hatha flow tonight. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. And I just want you to say, I like myself out loud. I like myself. And then I want you to say, I'm doing the best I can. And then I want you to say, we're all doing the best we can. We're all doing the best we can. So hard to say that sometimes. And then let the soles of your feet come into the earth. Knees are stacked. And you're gonna reach over on the right, grab your strap. Here's my hamstring stretches for you guys tonight. A Little bit of twisting too. We're gonna to slowly bend the right knee towards your right, towards the chest and grab your strap, the mid strap, and find the arch of your foot, stretch the foot straight up above you, slide your hands down either side of your strap or your scarf. 
Keep that leg up nice and tall, float it up. And now I want you to find where it works for your body. Some of you might be way down here, that's okay. See if you can come more higher above your body. And now I want you to reach the heel up to the ceiling. Play with the straps. Tuck your chin into your chest so the back of the neck is long. The neck and throat are soft. And play with that heel lifting up to the ceiling. Now there's meridians, the back of the, the legs, the urinary bladder meridians. And what you're doing here is you're opening up your sleep meridians, the back of the legs. Curl those toes if you can, and then just find softness as you breathe. Inhale here, and exhale through the mouth. We're gonna play with the, the lines in our body, the center line. So you have a, a, your midline down the center. You're gonna slowly take that right leg and just cross over your midline, just like a little bit over to the left. So it's just, if you imagine a line down the center of your body, you're just crossing it over. You can have both hands on your strap or just the right hand, whatever works. Inhale, come it back straight, straight up again in the air. That's it. From here, take an inhale. Exhale, take both pieces of the strap in the right hand and slide the right hand up your strap or your scarf, finding somewhere between the knee and the ankle. Lift straight up. Now let your left arm come straight out to the side or bend your elbows in cactus, whatever works. From here, you're going to slowly, slowly let your foot on the right open up to the right. Now, where your edge is when your shoulder starts to lift up. So think that left shoulder, you don't want it to lift up. Find your edge on this side. Find your edge. And now you're going to look over in the opposite. Breathe here. Soften the face. Soften the throat. Let your left knee do whatever it wants to feel comfortable. Inhale your gaze up, exhale through the mouth, and inhale, float that leg up again. Beautiful from here. Take your time, inhale here, and you're gonna exhale slowly, straighten your left leg. Inhale and exhale, let that foot slowly cross over your body. So on the other side, so you're coming over to your left hip, left hip, and now slowly lift up. Good, we're gonna switch up the strap this time to do that. Switch up the strap, left hand grabs where the right hand was, open up on the right. Now again, roll onto that left hip, we know where we're going. Roll onto your left hip, keep going. And now, if your right shoulder starts to lift, that's your edge. Down. Soften in the face. Some of you wanna just really find softness. Again, soft edge. Really good for the legs, especially for you guys skiing and snowboarding. Soften the face. And then inhale, gaze up. Exhale, let that leg come up. And then slowly bend your left knee again, sole the foot to the ground, and then release the right leg. Right knee bends towards your chest, release that strap. Bring the soles of the feet to the ground, widen your feet nice and wide, and then just let your knees fall in. Left and right, nice and gentle. This is called windshield wipering your legs. Again, you're just finding where it works tonight. A lot of you, this is probably the first yoga class you've done in a long time. I know a few dropped in tonight. Newbies, welcome. Just let it go. And then slowly bring the soles of your feet back to center. Knees are right below. Oh, sorry, knees are above your heels. Soles of the feet in the ground. We're gonna do a little bridge pose in between sides. So bring the palms of your hands down to the mat. Shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. And this is really gentle bridge. 
You're on the back of the head and the shoulders. You're not on the neck vertebra and you're just going to slowly lift your knee, your hips up and you're reaching your knees past your toes. Inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Coming down, back down your mat. Then bring one knee at a time to your chest to give yourself a hug. You can rock or just stay still. Breathe. and then release the soles of your feet to the ground. From here, you're gonna reach for your strap on the left, bring your left knee towards the chest, and you're gonna find mid strap and hook the arch of your left foot. Send that foot straight up in the air, sliding your strap either side. Again, we're gonna find where it works for us. Some of us are down here. Remember, we're, we're finding and meeting ourselves where we're at. We're not judging ourselves. Chin to chest slightly, lengthen the back of your neck. That's it. Now slowly reach your heel up. Toes come towards your face. Find your edge, soften. Soften the face. Back and neck is long, chin is slightly tucked. Soften the jaw, let the eyes sink in the sockets. Face is soft, breath is flowing. Don't think of that intense grip on your strap, like the ah grip. Think of soft everywhere. Soft hands, soft face. Reaching up with your heel, playing with that edge. Spending, spending once you've found it, spend a little time there, right? That's the yin. Spend some time opening up those meridians in the back of the legs. Inhaling, exhale, you're gonna slowly cross over your midline. So you have a line down your center, just take that left leg and cross slightly over to the right. It's changing up just a little bit. Breathe, soften. You can have your knee bent here too, if it's too much or just let that foot fall away from you a little bit. Meet yourself where you're at. And then inhale back to center. Take your left hand, slide the hand up off your strap, somewhere between your knee and your ankle. Take an inhale, exhale, extend the right arm straight out to the side or bend it into cactus. Inhale here and exhale, slowly let your foot on the left open up. You can watch that foot again. It starts to lift up on the right, you found your edge. Okay, if once you found it, look away from the foot, if that's okay for your neck. Your right, your right knee might open a little bit here. Let it do whatever it wants to as you open on the left. Again, you're not lifting up on your right shoulder. Find your soft edge, soft face. Find your breath here. Inhale your gaze up. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, lift the head up, or sorry, lift the leg up. From here, you're gonna extend your bottom right leg down. Take your time. From here, inhale, exhale, rolling. Oh, someone saying there's no sound? Is there no sound? Oh, okay. Slowly extend that right hand up. Finding switching spots and let your left arm come straight out or bend at the elbows. From here, slowly roll back onto your right hip. Finding that edge. Now, as soon as the left shoulder wants to lift up, you've gone too far, find your soft edge. Breathe. Let it go. There is no tension in your face. You can look towards that foot or away from it, wherever your neck wants to be. 
Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale your gaze up. Exhale slowly. Let that leg float up. Bend the sole of your foot so that it's back into the ground and then bend that left knee, release the strap. Nice work, everyone. The lot of fascia that opened up there. Bring your knees towards your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Let your legs float up to the sky. Let your arms float up to the sky and then circle your ankles and wrists. This is called dead bug pose. Other side, circling ankles and wrists. That's it. And then we're going to do a little last kundalini tonight. <laughs> so skip this and go into Shavasana if you're like, no, Hannah, I'm done. Otherwise, you're going to extend your legs out. Reach up above you, grab that little blanket and tuck it under your head. If you can be bothered, I like the tassels at the top and the folded edge just touching the top of your shoulder, chin to chest. Palms down, fingertips facing, pointing towards your toes. Now we're going to lift the head, the hands, and the feet and do one more round of breath of fire. You ready? Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, come up. Head, hands, and feet, breath of fire. Go. Just the heads up, hands, and feet. You got this. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Good work, everyone. Bend one knee at a time. Bring the soles of your feet into the mat and then knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug. Thank you, body. Big breath in, big breath out. And then slowly, you're going to bring the soles of your feet back into the mat, reach for that pillow or your bolster or your couch pillows, whatever you have, bring it behind your legs and then extend the legs out. So some of you behind the back of the thighs feels better. Some of you behind the knees, but I want a slight bend. So your lumbar spine is happy, the low back. Then you're going to bring the palms to the sky, but first reach up, tuck in the blanket, hug your neck, and then reach the top of your blanket hug. You're gonna roll the sides and so you lift the skull up just so that your chin slightly tuck. And I want this nest, this tight nest around your head and then let the head, hands go. Let it go. Let the hands, the feet, everything go. I have five minutes Shavasana. I'm just gonna leave you guys here to see if you can just let your body turn off now. I usually like to have a 10 minute Shavasana with you. We had a lot of stuff to move through the body tonight. So we're going to let everything sink in. See if you have any last areas of tension and if you can soften there with your breath. Prana is life force and it's going to flow through the body. And when you do yoga and yin especially, we're allowing that life force. We're unplugging all the, all the, think of a garden hose full of dirt. You're just letting the channel flow again. Let your body rest and be. If you drift off into sleep, just go to sleep for a bit. Don't worry about coming back if you need 10 to 15 minutes, even 20 minutes here.
when you feel ready, slowly bring awareness to your breath. Feel the breath in your whole body, in every cell. Feel the breath in the whole body from their toes to the crown, fingertips. Breathing in through the nose, into your heart center. Exhaling out through the mouth. <sighs> Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling out through the mouth. <sighs> Inhaling through the nose, heart center. Exhaling out through the mouth. And again, if you're here and you're like, that wasn't long enough, I need longer. Stay there, rest, fall asleep. Let your body do what it needs to do this evening. This first of December. Otherwise, you're going to start to wiggle your toes and fingers. Maybe you want to circle wrists, maybe point the toes, do whatever kind of movements with feet and hands. And then you're going to bend one knee at a time, bring the soles of the feet into the ground, remove your bolster. Give yourself a hug, knees to chest. You can be anywhere else right now. <sighs> Hugging the self. Roll over to the right side or the left side, whatever it feels natural for you. And pause for a moment. Now, a lot of us have different situations at home. Some of you are alone. Some of you have a partner. Some of you have kids, pets. Whatever your situation I want you to remember that you are precious. Your heart is precious. You have precious gifts to share with the world. You have kindness to share with the world. Being kind to yourself right now. Take that top hand, place it into the mat. Inhale and exhale. You use that hand to push yourself up. Again, if you need to stay longer in Shavasana, stay there. Coming up, take your time, coming into seated. If you have a ponytail, you can take your hair out. And if we feel we need expansion in our life, open the palms. If we need grounding, palms down, shoulders back. Sitting tall, belly button to your spine. Eyes can be opened or closed or gazing forward softly. Just think of one thing you're grateful for in your life right now. Think of that thing you are grateful for and breathe in the gratitude into the heart. Exhale through the mouth. Now we're gonna take our hands to the side and reach out to gratitude. So much gratitude. Pull it into the heart as you exhale. The light in my heart bows to the light in yours. Namaste, everyone.